Hello everybody. Uh, today I'll be showing you SQL.net uh, and this is created by old school developers aka myself. Uh, <laughs> and the reason why I've created this uh, nifty little solution is because I know there's not always uh, a GUI for running queries in SQL, MySQL and Oracle. Um, sometimes you have to refer to third party software uh, like my PHP admin or something like that for example if you're in my SQL developer you know, etc etc um, so anyway what we have here is, is we have a tool that's very universal essentially that I've created it allows you to connect either using my SQL you can connect using Microsoft's SQL or Oracle Oracle right now currently is not supported on this piece of software and that's just simply because I didn't have the reference to import uh, the Oracle so or that library to import yet so I'll get that eventually probably take like two second fix to go out and find it and get it and import it um, nevertheless though what you can do here is you can connect to your server you just type in whatever your server is in my case my server is just localhost and the database I want to connect to is just YouTube obviously the default username and password um, what you see though right here in case you're wondering you're like hey that kinda looks like SQL syntax well that's because it is whatever you type in right here is exactly what it's gonna look like uh, when you connect in your code so the whole point of that though is you know so it makes sense to you if you are a developer you can be like oh, okay now it makes sense so what you can do if you have a query that you want to run on two separate databases you can literally just switch over uh, on the fly so there's no need to run multiple pieces of software you can just simply switch with a click of a button change the servers that you want to connect to change the database all right here very quickly very easily very versatile the next thing I want to show you guys is the quick query quick query is simply just a list now it goes bigger than what you'll be able to see uh, but it's just simply a list of pre-made statements that you can just grab or expressions however you want to refer to them uh, and you can just kind of fill in the gap essentially and it actually let me just show you I'll grab one I'll grab one up from the top where you won't be able to see it uh, I'll just go ahead and remove this alright so what we've done here is we just got a simple select statement so I'll go ahead and go with let's go with cost and we're gonna pull that from my items table because I know I have an items table in my YouTube database so let's just go ahead and switch this over to my SQL I'm gonna go ahead and run this and there we go as you can see here's my items table information there's a lot of information right there as you can see uh, so it just ran this query essentially right here if you want to run multiple queries of course you can run multiple queries Come up here and do something like that you can do an update uh, let's say oh, I don't know it's create a table I mean there's just all kinds of things on this list that you can do and it's all pre pre created for you so you don't have to sit there and think, you know, well, how do I do this? Or, you know, you know, waste time essentially with your queries or building your queries. Which I know for me is a really, really giant pain in the butt when you're trying to figure out something like, oh, how do I do that? You know, you just pop up this list and it's all right there. Um, these are all generic, of course, nevertheless. I mean, your queries and these queries are probably going to differ slightly. But nevertheless, the whole point of this is to kind of save you time or at least help you when you're building that query. Now, once you get this query built, you've tested it, and it works, you can just simply highlight this code, copy and paste it, and put it into your code. Or if you're a DBA, you could probably just copy and paste this and run this or whatever you know you want to do uh, it's primarily built for developers um, to kind of help us but I can see a DVA being able to use this as well 
I can see how it would be useful to him. Just a nice little simple tool that I came up with. Uh, nothing too elaborate, but nevertheless, you might find it to be useful. Uh, let's say, let me give you guys a little bit more of a demonstration. Let's say that I want to clear this table. I can just simply click the clear button. Let's say that I wanted to save something. The save feature does not currently work. Well, what save will do, it will save this information up here. So, and what will happen is, whatever it's saved, um, every time you load the application, it'll do a check to see if there's any da saved data. So that way, when you open your application, or open the application, you don't have to consistently sit there and re-enter this information every time. It'll be saved for you, so if it's the same information, um, it'll automatically load for you. You don't have to re-enter it. Alright, so that's the tool. I know it's kind of small, kind of a simple little tool, but I think it could be extremely useful in the right hands. Uh, you could do quite a bit with it. So please post your comments about SQL.net, and I will do my best to try to get this out and available for everybody. In fact, I will also end up sharing the source code for this as well. So if you're an, a developer and you're interested you know, in the source code and how I actually built this, I will also be sharing that as well. Alright, so thank you.